All right, guys, even here with another video, and today I wanted to talk about Sean Roden versus Phil Hitt. What do I think? Who deserved to win? And in my opinion, actually, let's save my opinion for the end of the video. This is gonna be a bit longer video, a bit longer than you got used to. So brace yourselves, enjoy, sit back, take a, take your coffee or your pre workout. Actually, I don't advise taking pre-workouts, but take your water, glass of water, or a bottle of water, or a 5-liter jug, whatever you're using, and sit back, relax, and enjoy. So let's start with this first pose, as you can see already, uh, it's gonna be back double bicep. Yeah, it feels strongest pose, and let's see, let's compare this pose. I mean, you know, you can't really judge a competition only by mandatory poses, compared one by one by another with pictures and stuff like that. Video is much better, but still not as good as what you can see in person. Uh, I heard this million times, but when I actually uh, competed for the first time, I saw uh, what the difference, what difference does it make? Because when you are very close, especially the judges, judges have the best place uh, by far. So from those front rows, you can see you know, perfectly. Who, who looks better, who looks worse. So I'm sure judges made the, the right call. But did they? Did they? Did politics happen? This is what we're gonna talk, talk about today. So let's look at this picture here. And what do you think? Who won this pose? In my opinion, and obviously, probably in everyone's opinion, <laughs> that's just Phil. There's no doubt about it. I mean, when you look at the, the glutes, that's equal pretty much maybe even sean is better when you look at the the hamstrings that i think phil has the best hamstrings in the history of bodybuilding like if you look at ronnie coleman i mean he looked great he, looked, he had everything he's probably better bodybuilder than, than phil but he didn't have hamstrings like this nobody had them and nobody had them this defined i never saw this i mean point point to me guys tell me who had a better hamstrings than phil very rare very rare and uh, the thing about Phil, he also has calves. He also has pretty decent calves, which, which is uncommon for African people. Or should I say African-American? Should I just say black people? I don't know. I just don't want to sound racist. Although I never met a black person in my life. So I don't think I can sound racist. But I definitely am not. Anyways, let's go with, the, with their backs now, uh, which is the point of this pose. It is, it is back double bicep. And uh, as, you, as you can see, the lower back... As far as spinal erectors, it's close. Sean is, Sean is showing them a little bit more than Phil. But if you look at the lats, the thickness of the lats, Phil is much, much, much thicker. It's, I mean, night and day, night and day difference. Much, much thicker. If you look at the traps, it's okay. I mean, Sean's traps are well, pretty okay. But Phil's are much, much more, de more defined, more thick, more deep. So, yeah, Phil, Phil wins it. I mean, overall back, Phil wins it. And if you look at the shoulders, Phil's shoulders are much, much bigger. And if you look at the triceps, Phil's triceps, again, they win. Biceps, same thing. Tr uh, forearms, same thing. So Phil has hamstrings, arms, shoulders, back, and hand calves. The only thing that Sean has is glutes, and it, that's even arguable. Maybe, maybe Phil has it as well. Who knows? But yeah, that, that's pretty close. Anyways, let's go with the next leg pose. And now we're gonna see back lat spread. Obviously, this is not a real life comparison. The, 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 the size is, I mean, Sean looks like a giant compared to Phil now. But yeah, that's the pictures that I could find at Muscle Development website. Anyways, if you look at them here, uh, again, glutes, I would give it to Sean. I think his glutes look much thicker here. Hamstrings, again, Phil. Uh, cows, again, Phil. Uh, back. So let's get the back, which is the point of this pose as well. And now look at the, the traps, much, much thicker on, on Phil, much thicker. And, and if you look uh, at the, the lower back, again, lats, still, Phil, uh, look at hold back, like who has deeper details. It is just not, not even funny to talk about it. I mean, it's just freaking obvious, Phil destroys him in this one. So let's just, let's just skip this one, let's go with the next one. All right, and here we're gonna have most muscular. Do I really have to talk about this one? Ooh, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, just uh, look at look at the chest. Phil's chest is popping at you. It's coming at you. It's getting out of the screen. It's so huge, so so bulgy. And Sean's chest is flat as a pancake. 
And uh, again, arms. <laughs> Guys, I mean, look at their arms. Just compare these arms. Not even, not even funny. Night and day. Night and day. And the legs, okay, quads. Sean has some decent quads. Very, very good quads, I must say. That, that's what, he, especially the inner part. I mean, they are basically connecting at the knee. <laughs> their knees are connecting pretty much. I mean, he only has like a few centimeters left or like an inch or two and he would be there, <laughs> probably. And yeah, cows are fills, but that's not that important. And the uh, stomach, yeah, Phil's stomach is horrible and you can see it even in this pose. Yeah, he, his stomach is just horrible and obliques are, are visible here. But Sean has beautiful midsection, so yeah, that's, you know, that's not like the most important thing in most muscular pose, but still it's pretty, pretty obvious. You, you can't just ignore it. I mean, it's really visible. The belly button is, what the hell is that? It looks like, I don't know, like something is trying to get out of that stomach. It just looks weird and, and strange. But yeah, yeah, still, I would still, I mean, obviously give it to Phil. Uh, yeah, stomach is visible, but just everything else is too overwhelming. Too overwhelming to, 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 to ignore it. You cannot ignore it. Let's go with the next next uh, comparison. This is tight chest. And again, guys, yeah, do I have to go over this? I mean, look at look at the look at the chest. <laughs> look at the chest it feels. It's crazy. Like this is insane. How can a person pack this much mass? And is this really that much of a mass, or is it just an effect that he's able to make with this kind of genetics, the 3D popping muscle? I don't know, but it just looks insane. Uh, look at the, the arms, so look at the triceps. Uh, Sean's triceps are non-existent. Phil's are so pumped. Uh, biceps, pretty much the same thing. Shoulders. Uh, Sean's shoulders are kind of uh, very veiny. Vascular, they, they look kind of shredded from that standpoint, maybe a bit more dry than fills. And the fills are looking bigger a little bit. I don't know. I mean, not compared to the, their to his arms, because Phil's arms are huge and they make his shoulders small. And I'm sure they're bigger than Sean's, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, you don't you want you want to measure their shoulders and say who has bigger shoulders, but whose shoulders looks bigger. So it's very close when it comes to shoulders. And let's go downstairs. Let's check the legs. And you're gonna see that uh, Phil's hamstrings are much thicker. Hell yeah, they are. They're much bigger, and he's showing them properly. Uh, glutes, again, maybe Sean's a little better. And quads, I think, uh, yeah, it's, it's Sean, definitely. His quads are much fuller, for sure. And stomach is not that visible at, at Phil's, so yeah, this pose... He's hiding it with his arm somehow, somewhat. Still, I will give it to, to Phil at this one as well. Then let's go with the next one. Side tricep. <laughs> I don't know. This is just... This, may, this is making me laugh. I mean, uh, look at this. Look at Phil's triceps. Man. This looks like he has a, a baby inside of it. Or, or an egg to lay. I don't know. I mean, it's just crazy. This is just too much. And Sean's triceps, where is it? Let me find it. Oh, there it is. I guess that that's somewhat of a tricep. Uh, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> the, the 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 pose is called side tricep, and who wins it? Of course, Phil. If you go downstairs, you can make an argument that Sean's uh, quads are a bit fuller, bigger, but that's because he's showing them more. And maybe he is bigger, but who cares? It's tri it's a tricep, and the stomach on Phil is not looking that bad, thankfully. So yeah, he's hiding it properly. Let's proceed. And here it's a different pose, but I couldn't find Sean uh, doing the front relaxed pose. I don't know. He, he probably just doesn't do it. Take a look at it, and let's just skip it because it's the same pose. All right, let's proceed to the next one. And now we have a proper pose. And not, not that proper. This is just a disaster, if you ask me, because they both suck at this. They are both horrible at this pose. Uh, but the point of front lat spread is to uh, spread your lats. It's not to put your elbows out and to, to show your arms. You don't care about your arms. It's front lat spread. Show me the lats. I think the only guy who was able to hit this perfectly, textbook perfectly, and with, I mean, from Mr. Olympias, of course, be Dorian Yates, and he's my number one bodybuilder of all time. But anyways, uh, in this pose, let's see who is better here. So if you look at their legs, it's close. It's 
questionable. I mean, you can go with it either way. You can't really say. I mean, they, they are a bit different, but very close, very close still. Maybe fields are a little bit more dry because he has better, better vascularity, because he has better vascularity, but Sean's are showing more detail. So there's that. Um, Kyle's pretty close, feels a bit better. Um, shoulders, pretty much similar. Maybe Sean is a bit more dry through the shoulders. If you look at their chest, Phil wins it. But he, in this pose, he doesn't really show uh, that good of a chest. But still, it's better than Sean's. Arms, it's not even a uh, comparison. This is just not funny. Uh, Phil's arms and forearms are a complete different ball game. And the thing about stomachs is Phil's stomach is not looking that horrible here. And Sean's stomach is looking kind of too long. Like he has a too long of a torso, which is a bad thing, you know. If you want to have good aesthetics, your legs should be pretty long and your torso should be a bit smaller. And that's the way Phil looks, but not Sean. His stomach kind of looks too long here. And that's why you can go either way in this pose. And I would say, when you talk about lats, what, which is the, the essence of the pose, uh, I will give it to Sean. Because he is showing some bit which Phil just genetically doesn't have. And yeah, so it's arguable, very close, but yeah, maybe I would give it rather to Sean. But like maybe if I would give 10 points to Phil, I would give 11 points to Sean. If, uh, if we didn't score this like in bodybuilding competitions, because less points you have, the better you are. If we give them points for victory, then yeah, I would give a one point more to Sean. So very close, but yeah, I guess Sean wins it. Let's go with the next picture. And here we're gonna, we're gonna see front double bicep. So if you look at their biceps, which is the, the point of the pose, Phil's biceps look like uh, pff, triceps, <laughs> because the, I can see some separation even like quadriceps, they, they have, they're have separated so much, they don't even look like they have two heads, but more like three or four, like four heads. <laughs> but it is what it is, they, they, his biceps are definitely better. Uh, triceps, again, the same thing, look at the sweep underneath, much better than Sean's. Forearms, the best form in the world, is what Phil has. Uh, lats, Phil is spreading them a little bit better here, which is strange, but yeah, he just... He's doing it, for sure. Uh, chest. Yeah, close. I'd say lats are pretty close. Legs. In this pose, I would give it to Phil. Because it just look, they, they just look more massive. Uh, because they probably are. They probably are more massive. Um, although Sean has better details. But when he spreads them this much, they don't look that big. Compared to what they look like when he has a close stance. So, the, yeah, but, you know, in the end, core is very important. Their stomachs are visible very, very much in this pose. And Sean's stomach is looking much, much prettier, much more defined and showing more detail. And it doesn't have this belly button that looks like it's going to burst and, uh, I don't know, spray the audience with some kind of poisonous liquid or something like that. Yeah, so yeah, I would give it to Sean just because of the core. And let's go with the last picture. And this one is just obviously Sean's because this is abs and thighs. And uh, Sean's abs are just proper. They just look nice. They look good. Which is a rare sight to be seen at the Mr. Olympia stage. And just his V-taper, his lats are popping more than Phil's. Phil just looks too blocky. And I mean, if you saw the competition, if you saw the video, he was struggling to hold his pose. He wasn't able to breathe and all that stuff. So definitely this is this is Sean's. But we're judging, judging by the pictures here. So that was the last picture, guys. And what can we tell based on this? Who won? If you look at the just sheer muscularity standpoint, then and definition and everything. Sure, Phil wasn't at his best. He wasn't as defined as he usually is. It wasn't his best conditioning ever, probably his worst. But if you look at the muscularity and the detail in the muscles and the 3D effect, the if you look at the completeness of the physique, then Phil wins it. But there is just something that you cannot ignore. You cannot ignore the core. It rhymes, I know. You cannot ignore the stomach because it looks good, you know? Because it's always visible. You cannot ignore it. And for that reason and that reason only. And because of the conditioning of Sean, 
that looks fine. I mean, he's conditioned like crazy, but he's uh, probably not as conditioned as Phil. But Phil is not crazy conditioned as usual. So yeah, other than that, all the other guys were off pretty much. Sean was the only one who was on and he didn't have that many weaknesses. And he had proper midsection, which is something that is very, very harshly criticized throughout the last, I don't know, five years. Everybody's talking talking about it and everybody's saying that it's horrible and it's something needs to change. So they probably didn't realize that, the judges. They, they just, just, I mean, they couldn't just ignore this. I mean, look at Phil. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Phil. He's probably my favorite bodybuilder of all time after Dorian Yates. Especially his 2011 edition. That was my motivation to, to start working out, pretty much. One of the... And uh, now, he, it's just not what it used to be. I mean, his stomach is just looking awful. Awful. Disgusting. And for that reason, I agree with the decision. I think Sean deserved to win. But I also think that Sean is one of the worst Mr. Olympias ever. He just won because nobody else was good enough. I mean, if you put him in, like, 90s... Put him in 1995 or 1996 or 1994, he would be like 10th place. Sean was simply at the right place in the right time. That's it. He was ready when others weren't. And he is a good Mr. Olympia, but he's not one of the best Mr. Olympias. As a matter of fact, he's probably one of the worst Mr. Olympias ever. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, like the video. If you want to see more, subscribe. Give me your opinion in the comment section below. And see you in the next couple of videos. All the best. Bye-bye.